What's up, guys? Zoom Wars here. I want to talk about Josh Norman versus the Redskins fans. <laughs> uh, this is getting blown way out of proportion, but honestly, I am siding with Josh Norman. Even though I do not think he's a shutdown corner or an elite corner, whatever you want to call him, he's not worth the money we're paying him. Is he a good corner? Yes, he's good. But he's very, very inconsistent. Um, but going to his comments, he basically called out Redskins fans. He said uh, he'd rather play on the road because he feels like the true Redskins fans are on the road. And when he plays at home, you know, they boo every little thing they do wrong. And honestly, I will take Josh Norman's side. Like I said, I am not a huge Josh Norman fan, but I was at this last week, this Tampa, at Tampa game, and those Redskins fans took over. Honestly, I went with a Bucks fan of mine, and, uh, you know, he's a buddy of mine. He's, he's a diehard Bucks fan. He was literally surrounded by Redskins fans. Surrounded. At Tampa. So... Yes, those Redskins fans took over that game. By the fourth quarter, all you heard was chance was, let's go Redskins. As it fucking should be. Anywhere they go, because we do know they are the team. They are the good guys. Anyone else are the bad guys. <laughs> but all honesty, like I said, uh, I don't know. I cheered loud. I cheered proud for my Redskins. I mean, the Bucks. They shit the bed. That's what they did. Um, you know, you look at the NFC East right now. Redskins are in first place by two games to the Cowboys and Eagles. Honestly, I don't see the Cowboys. I, I don't see them really as a threat this far behind. The Eagles, I do, because we still play them twice. They could sweep us. And the only reason why I even fear the Eagles is because of Carson Wentz. He is an elite quarterback. I think when, uh, you know, five years from now, when Brady, you know, Rodgers, Breeze, they're all gone from this game, you're going to look at, you know, uh, Wentz, Mahomes, the, these type quarterbacks as the next level quarterbacks that are going to carry this NFL to the next 10 years. And unfortunately, we have to play Carson Wentz twice. But that's the only reason why I even fear the Eagles. I don't think they're, I don't know, I don't I, I don't think they're a good. I think they're they're lacking a run game. That's the only thing holding them back. But Carson Wentz is elite, and uh, I do fear them the two games we play them. But getting back to the point, uh, I do think Redskins fans need to get behind their team. And like I said, I heard you know in Washington uh, the main reason why fans don't go to the games no more is because of a uh, bad location. And, you know, shitty stadium. I get that because I live in Florida. I am a Tampa Bay Rays fan. And I hate the location of the Rays. And, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to go to the games. But, uh, like I said, I don't live in D.C. But I get the NFL Sunday ticket every every week. You know, every year, I mean. Uh, and I do not miss a game. I have lived through the 14-2 and two seasons when they won Super Bowl 26. I've lived through the 3-13 and 13 years. And we sucked ass. It sucks when you suck, but you got to get behind your team. I mean, win or lose, I mean, I, I will bleed burgundy and gold till the day I die. Um, that's just that's just the way it is. I will always back them. And you know, the whole thoughts of uh, you know, I I, I listen to was ESPN first take. Yeah, that's one. Max Kellerman, he's talking. Redskins fans don't go to the games because <laughs> they're racist. Name. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm not buying that bullshit for one second. Not for one second. When anyone mentions the name Redskins, they think of the NFL football team. No one's thinking of, oh, the racist name towards Native Americans. It's like, Get the fuck out of here. Native Americans don't even, they don't care that the Washington Redskins are named Redskins. But, like I said, I mean, I still feel like Alex Smith, you know, Redskins fans, listen up. Alex Smith still has room to grow in this offense. You got to look at Kirk Cousins. When he first took over this offense, everyone was clamoring back for RG3 and Colt McCoy. Of course, people are still calling for Colt McCoy now with, uh, you know, 
Alex Smith, but Alex Smith is showing you. He is literally laying down the blueprints of how to win by not turning the ball over and playing good defense. I get that. Kirk Cousins did not have a defense when he was he was playing with us. He was lighting up the stat board, but we were not winning. We were mediocre. And people may say we're mediocre still, but we are winning. We're 6-3 and three right now. Uh, you know, we got a, a winnable schedule ahead of us. We can go 10-6, and six, you know, make the playoffs. I'm not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl, but shit. You want to start a winning tradition in, in this franchise. I mean, 20-plus years, you know, we, we were basically a place for players to come, get their paycheck, and not give a rat's ass whether they win or lose. We have players that actually care if they win or lose. We have Jonathan Allen, and like I said, I'm not a, I hate Alabama. I hate Alabama when it comes to college football. I root against them, but honestly, I think that's a winning formula by grabbing these Alabama players because they come in expecting to win, and they hold players accountable when they fuck up. Jonathan Allen, he's getting in people's ears. I love it. Love it. Like I said, we're, we're building something here. Um, like I said, I'm not saying we're winning the Super Bowl this year, but I want to make the playoffs. I want to start a winning tradition where players expect to win the playoffs, to make the playoffs, win this NFC East year in and year out. That's pretty much all I got to say. Hail to the Redskins. And fuck the Cowboys. <laughs>